Yo, what up? Andrew here, aka Regatta de Blanc, coming at you with a special review on one of the most innovative pieces of equipment I have seen for the Xbox 360 in quite a while. Um, yes, it looks like a regular controller, but it ain't. Uh, it's a controller offered by a company called Scuff Gaming, and they specialize in a lot of customization with controllers that are uh, completely legit with like MLG. Um, and other gaming competitions uh, out there. So it's not a quote-unquote modded controller to cheat. Uh, yeah, so just looking at the thing, cosmetically, it's sick. Um, the blacked-out buttons, blacked-out Xbox button. You might notice something over here. Uh, the domed analog sticks, the PlayStation 3 style, some people might call them. Um, some people, when they order this controller, will only get this on the aim stick. I chose to go with both. Just because I like the feel of these more um, than the Xbox Ones. And that's one thing I miss from uh, the PlayStation 2 days. Even though I have a PlayStation 3, I really don't play it. But uh, that's the one thing I really like. I think these are more durable and they're a lot easier to articulate. D-pad's the same crappy D-pad. Even though they offer the um, raised D-pad, which I, I don't really care about um, too much. It still has the plug in here. I have my XP500 uh, Turtle Beach headset plugged in there right now. So just looking at it, it looks a little bit radical, a little different, um, but the best is yet to come. You're going to probably notice, um, if I was to show you the back, you're going to notice two things. Why is there screws in the triggers, and what are these red things? Well, we'll start with the top. You can see there are two silver screws in the triggers, and then there, there's uh, two black um, screws, Allen screws, that sit next to the triggers. Now, what those screws next to the triggers do is allow you to adjust the height of the trigger. Now, you can see how low that trigger is uh, set up in relation to a factory one. The reason for that, I have them turned down, which is what you do with these screws. You turn them down so that they are very close to the firing point. Now, those Allen screws in the back of the triggers are your trigger stops, so preventing you from going any farther than you need to. And I'll demonstrate at the end of the review here. But... That right there is probably the best feature of the controller and the reason why I bought it. Any milliseconds that you can get ahead of somebody in the game uh, could be life or death, basically. And, uh, you know, I want to be alive more than I am dead. So, the other thing that's very innovative uh, is these back paddles here. And what these are is you can set them to anything you want when you order the controller. I chose the A and B buttons. And what I did was I switched my layout in Modern Warfare 3 to Tactical, which switches the depress on the, the uh, right analog stick from the knife um, to the crouch, and it puts the knife on the B button. So your middle finger rests back on these, on the back here. It's a, it's a natural resting place anyway. So now when you're running, if you want a knife, panic knife, whatever you want to call it, all you do is... Go ahead and smack the button. I love how the buttons are hard. You get a nice tactile feel. I'm a big tactile feel guy. They're very sturdy. Um, you can tell it was well built. You can see the scuff seal of approval there on the back. If you uh, are doubting the, the authenticity of the controller that you have. The other cool thing that they do is they coat the whole back here with almost something like a truck liner. It's a weapon grade, or I'm sorry, it's a military grade weapon, uh, you know, anti-slip grip awesome because my hands sweat i play for long periods of time so it's one less thing i have to worry about also i did go with the wired version they offer wireless versions on the controllers um, i went with the wired version because again any any little millisecond advantage that i can pick up uh, i'm going to take it and in, just in my mind you know i don't want to start a discussion on wired versus wireless but in my mind you're going to get better response time with a wired controller it is what it is um, the last thing is you i had the ability to order a case here um, what the case is, it is just, you know, a clamshell. It's kind of a hard clamshell with a soft coating felt inside. So if you're traveling or whatever, it's pretty cool. I like that. Now, uh, they do offer a couple different styles of the controllers. I went with the most basic one simply because I'm not big into custom graphics or any of that stuff. But they do offer custom graphics on there. A couple of the commentators on YouTube have um, their own models. Probably the most popular is uh, Sandy Ravage has a pro model with them. You are going to pay a premium for those. This was only um, $80, but 
But once you start adding on things like the dome buttons, the blacked out, the dome, I'm sorry, analog sticks, the blacked out buttons, the trigger stops, the adjustable triggers, the back paddles, stuff adds up pretty quick. When it's all said and done, controller cost me about $130 shipped. Turnaround time, it's roughly five days to make it and then probably count on another you know, five just to be safe on the shipping. Um, the company is based here in America out of Atlanta. I know that they have, I believe that they originally uh, have some ties overseas. I'm not completely sure on that one, but all I know is I got it uh, within two weeks from the day I put the order into when it came today. So I've done a little bit of a adjustability, of adjusting with the controller um, so far. And I can go ahead and show you real quick on the screen. I have a just a, a private match set up real quick. And you can kind of see I'm pressing I'm pressing the back uh, knife button right now, so you can see my hand, my thumb's completely gone uh, off of there, and then my guy knifes. So that's just pressing the back button there. The other thing you'll notice is hopefully you can get this in pretty good, um, is how far I'm actually pressing down the trigger button when it fires. So let's see, that's it, and I'm firing. That's all because I can set that up with the with the screws. And now let me see if I can switch hands here and show you the aim. Um, I have the aim adjusted too. So you can kind of see, let's see. I mean, that's it. You can see how much I'm moving. That's it. It's incredible. It's it's a it's a great innovation. Um, like I said, it's 100% completely legal with Major League Gaming and all those establishments. This isn't a, a shitty modded controller that you get off Amazon.com that some creepster makes in his basement of his mother's house. Um, and it's going to fall apart. I'm very confident in this. I think it's going to be a great addition uh, to my gaming uh, collection and equipment collection and everything. So I just wanted to share with you guys. It's, it's, I think it's something that's worth worthwhile. At first I was very skeptical because of the pricing, but like I said, they have controllers for everybody's budget. Considering now that an Xbox controller is $60 new anyway, why not spend a little bit extra money, get everything you want that's customized and probably have one of the baddest controllers, uh, in your zip code. So that's it. Check these guys out, scuffgaming.com. And, uh, you know, good luck. Have a nice day.